Today we're going to screw around with uh, the scale again. We have a really super easy, uh, no cleanup, maple removal. That's like, we could be done in a half hour. But we'll make it take longer by playing with uh, weights. Uh, and we'll use this electric saw because it's quiet. So I should mention that monkeybeaver.com is up. I'm actually sending this sticker and uh, this t-shirt to Ricardo Rios. Ricardo Rios Hernandez. Just gonna go have fun today. Yeah, we're gonna be done real quick and sh and put a video up for you guys. So. so real quick, what do you think the max weight that you'll introduce into the enforcer might be? Today? Yeah. Uh, and we'll see if it's more or less. 600 pounds. This is a small tree. Okay. And I always under guess, which is probably bad. <laughs> we have a 200 that's sharp. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to use that electric saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at some of the stuff. It's actually kind of big. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use the 200. Well, I guess I'm all ready for the saw. Okay. Okay, YouTube. What I'm about to do now is prepare this spar for rigging from and for climbing from. So I'll, I'll put my climb line up a bit higher. I'll take all the unnecessary weight off of it. And I will set a rigging line in it. And the reason I do that, for anybody who cares, is then I'm rigging and, and climbing from the same point and I don't later have to um, two things in my way. When you rig from one spar and climb from the other, then you end up w where you kind of wish uh, you didn't have to rely on two things. The flip side, the downside is rigging from your own spar, you know, obviously that could be dangerous if you didn't do it right so you got to keep things within the right size to be safe you don't want to over rig the spar you're climbing from make sense okay that's how i'm doing that <laughs> Okay, YouTube, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to double crotch the rigging line and then I can do heavier items safely with a little bit of aerial friction. And I'll do this side first. And, uh, oh, my snap. Where's my snap? Oh, it's on the rigging line. So yeah, this is like a really inexpensive snap that you can buy. These are the ones I like for rigging, as opposed to these. Um, this rounder uh, mouth allows it to slide up the line better. Not as good as a carabiner. Carabiner slides up the line beautiful. A running bowline slides up the line beautiful. These, when it goes to slide up the line, it gets in this bite a little bit. Even though it has a larger opening, the bite kind of slows it down. That's why I like these. Also, there's more of a radius for the rope where the rope, uh, where the knot is. So I like these. They're really cheap. I don't know what they cost. The price more off, but they're they're not much money. And uh, yeah, I do a lot of snap rigging, so I won't be needing this one. The reason I like snaps on the end of my rigging line is because 
I can throw the snap just like a throw ball and I can I can get it where I want it real easy rather than having a lightweight carabiner or no weight at all so I'll put that over there where I'm going first and then yeah later we'll swap ends So I'll do a little bit of this without rigging. Okay, YouTube, watch this. I'm going to do a little bit. Of, it's over the roof, but I'll do a little bit of work where I just use a face cut with no back cut because this is maple, it's brittle, and I can get it to, to hinge under and drop without hitting the gutter if uh, I have no back cut. I could clearly easily just do the same thing right here with this you know I could just I, I'd be done right but for the sake of fun and guessing weight let me have the rope yeah okay pull it tight it looks like this one I'll just hold on to it and then it'll go out over the railing and I'll bring it back in yeah Okay, YouTube, what we got here is six and a half, seven inch diameter, one dead lead, one live. And uh, how much will it weigh after it hits and stops and bounces around? Sure. All right, I'll check it out. All right. Thanks. See you later. Yep. So how much does it weigh, Damien? Uh, that one I'm going to say uh, three, 300. After it stops and everything? I'm going to say 380. <laughs> Seventy-four, he says. So I'm gonna freehand these. So just watch out. Coming, coming back over my shoulder. So.
whole piece. Yeah, I really think you could get it in. You just have to probably take it as far out this way as you can. No reason to weigh this one. <laughs> You were right, I could get it. So probably I'll say a, I'll say a hundred and fifty. Okay. Whoa! We suck at this. Well, you must have like slowed I mean, it down. I guess I held, yeah, I guess I held it a little bit, but I was so you, constantly releasing it as I was holding. It, you know? Well, are you sure you didn't like let it down? And then try to maybe, slow it down at the end. the end. I saw the tip. Because that would be the most way. I think, I think that, yeah, I kind of saw the tip and I started thinking, oh, my stuff will get What's up, Tom? I just missed something exciting. No, we're, we're, we're weighing pieces uh, just for fun. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's guessing closer? We both are terrible at this. <laughs> that, that one weighed 400 and something pounds. Well, at least the dynamic weight right. when it kind of stopped on the rope. Right. So. Is that the wrong end? Oh, yeah, we got to swap ends now. Did you zero it out? It's off. Here goes the old Hanukkah kick. As famous in the Monkey Beaver video. Okay. So you can bring me the rope if you want to take the piece. Unless you got it. I got it. So how much did it weigh? A little uh, bit of dynamics going on there. I'm going to say 380 again. You know what, YouTube? I'm going to stop guessing because it's embarrassing. I'm just going to ask you every time. How much did it weigh, YouTube? How much? So I'll edit out that part where I said 380. And then now, now you, YouTube, what's it say? We're at 154. 154. Yep, definitely editing that out. Yep, definitely time to stop. <laughs> well, it was totally dead. Not just dead. for you, but I was thinking more too. I was thinking like, yeah, 275 or something. So you didn't zero it, but we know it's going to go past 154 anyway. Okay. Hey, Tom, how much pressure is that going to put on the scale when it stops? Right here. Tom, the electrician, says 135. Damien, this is your chance to be better at this than an electrician. What was the last one? 
Don't worry about the last one. This okay, is this, that one I'm gonna go. This is butt hitched. I'm gonna go 265. 265? I just can't not guess. I'm gonna say 480. Don't you try to ruin my guess by having a perfect smooth run, because you gotta save the <laughs> you got you gotta save the railing. <laughs> Okay, what did it weigh? Yeah, it's really, it's really light and funky. You can tell by the wood. Three fifty-four. Hmm. Did you hear that? <laughs> Tom says he did that to make us look good. Well, <laughs> we definitely need some help in the looking good department, especially Damien. Whoa. Harsh. As always. Yeah. Okay, it's on. All right, how about this one? That one? How far back are you cutting it? Uh... I think I'll cut it here because it'll be easiest for my saw. Right there, so that's an eight inch diameter cut. I'm not guessing. It's up to YouTube, uh, Damien, and Tom the electrician. Go ahead. 412. What is it? 412. 412. You know, uh, it is <laughs> It is 420 today. <laughs> not that Four, we care. I'll go 420. Oh. What about you, YouTube? What about you, Trevor? What would you say right now? Good shooting, Fig Newton. <laughs> Stop it, that's a little. Keep. That ain't gonna be much. 354. 354. That's not bad, Tom. Trust me, we've been way wronger than that. <laughs> way and wronger. And wronger is a word. <laughs> Look it up. Hashtag wronger, coolest ever. Ready? No, I'm gonna. I'm going to do one of my obsessive compulsive cuts. Oh, remember my guess? 600 pounds at the beginning. 600 pounds. This is a small tree. Okay. And I always under guess, which is probably bad. Yeah. I have to try to do something to make myself right. Well, this is about your last chance. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's gonna happen. 600-pound Six, piece, here we go. I'll drop it, and then I'll stop it really hard. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, do you want anything on this? Numbers? Um, no, wraps. Yeah, I am gonna want something on it. Hey YouTube, this one looks kind of heavy. What do you think? Is it 600 hefty? You're gonna have to hold it up. Yeah, I know. Okay, 
What do you say, YouTube? What is it? I'm gonna go for 525. That's gonna make 525. I don't think so. You might be in the in the threes again. Three fifty six. Three fifty six. That sounds right. Damien, it's up to you to make me right. This next one, swing it around, let it run and stop it before it gets to the ground. And then probably drop it again really <laughs> quick before it swings back. I don't know. I mean let it swing over there and run and then go <clears throat> at the end. Okay. Okay, Damien, it's up to you to get to 600 pounds with this log, okay? Okay, we're going with as much dynamic force as we can possibly get. I, I thought I, I was, saw you hit the ground. I was, well, right as I did it, it like got stretched and hit the ground. Okay. You. But then I felt it, it was a bummer because then I felt, well, I was thinking if I get it too low and I stop it, I don't want it going back into the. 388. Dude, you did that on purpose. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. You know what? I don't have to be right. I, I'm okay with just being... Yeah, you're right. You don't have to. And as long as I'm down here, you yep. won't be. Mm-hmm. Okay, good job. I'm trying to sabotage. Okay, I'll zero this one out. Funnier thing would be... I, I guess we could negative rig one in order to get our yeah. Maybe you can run it a bit and stop it, eh? Yeah. Okay, YouTube. How about this tiny thing, huh? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> now <laughs> we're talking. All there right. was silence like, yes, he's thinking what I want him to think. <laughs> he's thinking what I want him to think. Like, I forgot to stop it or something. Just bomb it into the deck. Yes, that one is going to weigh. Because I totally was like, I'm going to go free, freaking free fall on this bad boy, and then I'm just going to yard on it. Three not sixty four. Huh. Okay. All right, send me up something I can strap to the tree for a negative rig, even though okay. we don't have to, and we're completely wasting my time. <laughs> hey, it's all for science. But August, I'm, August, I'm gonna the science monkey. Felt pretty gentle. Yeah. 
Are you going to chunk the rest out? No, not if we're not at 600. Let me see what that says. <laughs> 402. 402. Let's see here. Okay, we'll get our six with this one, alright? Okay. Alright, now you should be able to rock them and sock them. Mm hmm. Alright. Can you do it, Damien? Can you get 600 pounds? With We're gonna get 600 pounds on this one. Okay. You just hold on. All right. Hold on up there. Hold on up there, little boss. Oh. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let's let's have this thing. You hit the ground. I don't think I did. No. Okay. I don't think I did on that one. All right. I didn't think I did. All right. We'll let the scale tell. One thousand one ten. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no log. No. Oh, oh no yeah. Ground. Okay, that makes me right. I said I would be 600 and I would be under because I'm always wrong. And so that makes me right twice. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll come down then, eh? Yeah. Maybe free fall one. These are the my original like X rings that David first sent me. All these years, um, I've been using them just hardcore, right? And uh, the coating is still just primo. All right, that should be enough. Okay, I guess that's it. I'll go next door and talk to that neighbor and see what's up with that. And then if he has us do it, maybe I'll check in with you. Oh, I'm not supposed to say YouTube. Okay, I just read this comment a minute ago. Charles Lafferty on, on, on one of my videos says, Hey, it's kind of weird when you call us YouTube. We're not YouTube. He says, we the people. Anyway, what should I call him? You people. <laughs> You people. <laughs> and then he'll comment the same thing. No, Sam. no, I shouldn't say that. So I should you say... You people. You guys. Well, I should just talk to the camera like... Like there's somebody standing on the job site mm -hmm. with us. There is. There's somebody there right now. So how do, how do you do that when you're staring at a camera? I'll just say you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. You know who it is. You know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. Okay, so check it out. We just did this bid, me and Damien, and I I wanted to tell you something that I've noticed when you're doing a bid. When they fold the bid up, the more folds they put in it, the more you're not going to be working there. Yeah, the least chance. If you give them a bid and they look at it and they start folding it up, what they're doing is they're they're uh they're filing it away permanently right then and there it's like if they fold it in half they might go get another bid but they like you so if the prices are comparable they're gonna go with you yeah even if maybe it's a little more if they start folding it up like a little origami paper hat or something you are done we will not be back there so and then have to provide an update 
another one is uh, okay well I'll talk to my wife that doesn't always shut you down but it's usually a sign that they just want you off the property so that they can feel better about denying you <laughs> and that's when you wink at the wife on the way out <laughs> really no <laughs> and you, are, you are gorilla marketing <laughs> but then and but then you it's apparent that now you have to um, make the wife happy oh yeah the job. not in a weird way right okay so you could just... You gotta be in with both of them. So if you sense that in the beginning, you can say, Hey, uh, can we just get your wife out here since <laughs> we did. know that you're gonna have to ask her? Yeah, since your wife's calling the shots. Uh, let me that's a, that's a good way to get kicked off the property. <laughs> get out of here! I do too wear the pads. Get out of here, you scaly tree guy! Mm -hmm. That's worth mentioning, Damien says. Some of the ladies like the soft hands. Yeah. This is not a clogger advertisement, although they are decent pets. <laughs> okay, Ricardo Rios Hernandez. I'm shipping you a shirt. We're here at Speedy Pack and Ship. This is Jesse. S P A S. That spells spaz. Yeah. Or spaz. A little bit. Is that true? Is that an accurate statement? That is an absolutely accurate statement. <laughs> okay, speedy pack and ship. Thanks, Ricardo. Your stuff's on the way.